So I was trying to troubleshoot a an oil leak on my uh, Dodge 318, and I discovered that my fuel pump connection point on the uh, timing chain cover had been broken off uh, previously, and someone had uh, installed a smaller bolt into it with a nut just to hold it on. So um, in the process of replacing that, I would, I'll be replacing that with a Dorman unit. It was uh, the quickest one I could find. Um, I went to check the timing chain of, since, since I had the cover off. And as you can see, it's pretty loose. So I ordered a new timing chain. I got a uh, Howard's unit, a uh, double roller. Uh, it should be a, a nice addition along with a, uh, an enhancement that I, uh, I read about uh, to uh, increase the uh, reliability of the chain. Since the uh, Dodge small blocks and I suppose the uh, big blocks as well um, have a, a long um, distance between the crank and the uh, camshaft center points that makes the uh, timing chain exceptionally long which uh, causes them to stretch out and uh, do that so uh, there's an enhancement that you can do to um, all this all the uh, Chrysler V8s uh, to add the the V6 chain tensioner that they came out with as a fix for the V6s when they were having the same issue so we're going to give that a try. That's a, a Cloy's part number 9-5387. It's supposed to fit all the uh, the Dodge small blocks. Uh, so we will uh, we'll see if that helps at all. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is replace the timing chain. Uh, pull the timing chain and uh, add that. Uh, belt tensioner. Gonna remove the cam plate, which includes the um, oil slinger.
This is the new cam plate and tensioner. Clean off the installation bolts so I can put some Loctite on them. According to Haynes, the camshaft thrust plate is uh, bolts are 18 foot pounds. So we will do that pretty quick. Seems awfully light for eighteen foot pounds. Okay, next I'll be putting on the, uh, the new cam, uh, sorry, timing chain, which 
I've already pre-oiled it. Looks like the timing is a little bit off, just a hair. Okay, I think I finally got it on. Definitely on there. Whew. That's a time and chain tensioner now. So, got our gears lined up, finally, chain tensioner is installed, next is the Next thing is the um, oil pump eccentric. I'll put that on now. Let's 
excuse me, I think I said oil pump eccentric. I meant fuel pump eccentric, of course. Okay, according to Haynes, the fuel pump, or the camshaft sprocket bolt, gets uh, 50 foot-pounds. So the camshaft sprocket bolt gets 50 foot-pounds, it's going to get 50 foot-pounds. Okay, that's installed. Gonna pull the timing chain temp tensioner release, which apparently had already released itself. And across your fingers. That is tight as hell. Okay, I'm going to put the uh, crank bolt on. And spin this a couple of times just to uh, see how tight it is. Well, it turns at least. 
don't know how much tension in it's doing, but it's certainly tight. And I hope for the best.